Welcome to Meath County Library Storytime Session. Today we'll be reading Brian Boru, The Warrior King, written by Jan and Cathy Burke, published by Gill Books. Brian and his brothers and sisters grew up beside the River Shannon, near Killaloo in County Clare. Their father, Cantig, was chieftain of the Dalgash clan and king of Thomond. The Vikings lived in nearby Limerick with their leader, I Ivor. Brian wanted to be a soldier like his father and protect his kingdom from the Viking Norsemen. When Brian was 12 years old, his village was raided by Vikings and Brian's parents were killed. Brian's older brother, Mahan, became the leader of the clan. The two brothers went into the hills and forests and fought the Vikings whenever they could. One day, Brian tricked the Vikings. They chased him into a dark forest where the Dalgosh ambushed them. The brothers grew to be so powerful that Mahan became king of Munster. Years later, Mahan was murdered by one of I Ivor's Viking friends. Brian was so angry that he went looking for Ivor. He chased him to Scattery Island and killed him. Brian then captured Limerick and took control of the Viking town of Waterford. Now Brian was king of Munster as well as chieftain of the Dalgash and he decided to make peace with the Vikings. Meanwhile, the High King of Ireland, Malachy, had also defeated a Viking army at the Battle of Tara. Brian went there to meet the High King and they agreed to defend Ireland together. Malachy took care of the North and Brian took care of the South. King Malachy was at war with Mael Morga, the King of Leinster, and Citric Silkenbeard, the Viking leader of Dublin. Brian and his son Murrough helped Malachy to defeat the Leinster army at the Battle of Clan Mama. After the battle, Mael Morga escaped, but was spotted hiding up in a yew tree. Brian punished him, but decided to let him go. Brian had a stronger army than Malachy, so it was agreed that Brian would become High King, also known as the Ard Ri. Brian Baru was a good king. He repaired ruined churches and built new ones. He even replaced lost books and stolen treasures. To help pay for the work, he taxed the Vikings and the Irish chieftains. Brian loved music and poetry. He supported harpers and singers. Brian was a fine harp player and that is why the harp is a symbol of Ireland. Brian marched around Ireland with his army and was very popular with the people. After many years of peace, Brian invited Mael Mortha to his palace in Clare. Mael Mortha gave some advice to Brian's sons who were playing a game of chess. He was told to mind his own business and climb back up in his yew tree. As soon as Mael Mortha got back to Dublin, he and Citric prepared for battle. Malachy heard about this and warned Brian, who gathered a huge army that included Vikings from Waterford and Limerick. Now Mael Mortha and Citric needed help, so they sent for more Vikings from Scotland, Orkney and the Isle of Man. In April 2014, a large fleet of Viking ships arrived in Dublin Bay, but Brian and Malachy were ready for them. The two armies met in a fierce and bloody battle at Clontarf on Good Friday. Citric's army soon got tired and tried to retreat, but as Malachy's men stopped them, Brian and Malachy's soldiers defeated the Viking and Leinster armies at the Battle of Clontarf. It was great victory. King Brian was too old to fight in the battle, but his son Murra fought and was killed. Now Brian had lost his parents, his brother and his son to the Vikings. While Brian was in his tent praying for his son, a Viking called Brodir spotted him, the king and struck and snuck into the tent and killed him. Everyone was very sad about Brian's death. His body was taken to Armagh where he lies buried. The power of the Vikings was broken and the country remained at peace for over a hundred years. Brian Baru would be remembered in Irish history forever.
did you know that Brian Baru Harp, the Brian Baru Harp in Trinity College is one of the oldest harps in the world? It is the kind of harp that Brian would have used. It is the harp that appears on Irish coins, passports, government letters and the President's blue flag. Did you know that the Norsemen wore some chainmail and other armour in battle? The Irish wore linen tunics, a favourite weapon for the Irish in close combat was the Irish battle axe. Did you know that Brian Baru's headquarters were at Kincora near Killaloo and that there is a Brian Baru festival in Killaloo and Ballina every year? There's also a Brian Baru Heritage Centre in Killaloo. And did you know that Brian's name was really Brian McKennethy? He earned the name Brian Baru, Brian of the Tributes by collecting taxes from the lesser kings to restore the monasteries and libraries that had been destroyed. And did you know that Brian Baru's march is a traditional Irish tune? The end.